Hey, 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 look at this. Look at that! I think the boogie's flowering. I was gonna get the bougainvillea this product called Better Bloom, which is a product that the internet YouTube suggests is useful in encouraging bougainvillea to bloom. I haven't purchased anything, I haven't put anything on the bougainvillea just yet, so I don't know, maybe we'll see what happens. Or maybe I'll just um, still order some better bloom and just see how it goes. Give it a little bit more encouragement. Hmm? Hmm? But I'm happy. balcony we're gonna be working on this pot I don't know how much new stuff I'm gonna to add to this pot generally I just want to kind of like dig stuff up and see what's going on with the soil and just check that everything's okay for the most part I like the plants that are in here they're just not doing so well so I kind of want to refresh the soil and maybe just tidy a few things up so that's what we're gonna do in amongst all of this wind So this portalaca is not doing really well. This is a portalaca sun jewel. It's just not thriving and it should be. It should be way bushier than this. So we're just gonna dig it up, have a look at the roots and see what's going on. Uh, <laughs> this Aeonium. Look, I know it's not gonna be looking its best because this is a winter grower. So it's gonna look like absolute rubbish in the summer. I didn't expect it to look this rubbish and look how much mealy is in there. This is it treated by the way. I've been spraying it with a systemic. This this is actually looking a lot better than what it used to, but what I might do is actually dig it out, give it a good wash, and then pop it back in, give it another treatment, and then we'll see how it goes. Don't know if I like this in there, the PVN. Yeah, not, not sure. Maybe we'll replace it with another plant. I do like the violet queens that are in here, so they can stay. This agave dragon toes, Yes, yes. I, I absolutely love this. Agave Dragon Toes is one of the first uh, agaves that I fell in love with. Actually, I think this is one of the first agaves that I bought. It's called Dragon Toes because the ends of the leaves look like dragon claws. Don't know if I like this. Don't know. What is this? This is Old Man of the Mountain. Very, very slow growing. Oh my lord. You really learn how to harness patience when you're working with cacti and succulents. But I, I like these in here. They can stay. As for this Opuntia, this Opuntia is going to stay. It hasn't given me any babies this summer season, which is fine. Do what you want. There's a little bit more room in the back there, so I may just push it back. And then, I don't know, we'll see We'll see if any anything else can be added to to the front here. So I'm gonna start by digging out everything. Wow, 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 just popping right out, aren't we? Should you actually be a little bit closer and then looking down like that? Okay, so let us get this portal lock out second. Okay. Okay, okay. Doesn't look like anything bad is happening here. It just looks like regular soil. That's a good sign. I should probably do this agave with gloves, yes. Generally, I'm quite lazy. I just can't be bothered with occupational health and safety, generally. But because I'm now on YouTube, I suppose that I have to, hey? Best practice. Oh my Lord. Yeah, that's looking good. Again, nothing bad. Look, I think that looks okay. Go over there. Wow, soil everywhere. Okay, let's get this out. God, can't wait to give this one a wash. Ooh, maybe this one's got mealy, mealy down in the roots. It's funny how like mealy just chooses very particular plants to stick to. Like it just hasn't, it doesn't look like it's spread to anything else yet in the pot. Just kind of like, I'm pretty sure that's, that's mealy there. Wow, look at all that mealy in there. That's disgusting. Disgusting. And what's going on with the rest of this? Look, in all honesty, the soil looks fine. This cactus may not be living its best life. Does anyone know what this cactus is? I forgot to get the name from the tag. Let's check those roots. Again, super fine. Nothing. We live near a river and I, I nicked this from the river. About a, a minute's walk away. Oh, shoot. All right, let's get this. 
Wow, that came out easily. Is that even growing any roots? Yes, that looks fine. All right, what about this? Come on, come on, come on. Get out. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yikes, yikes. Again, I think super fine. Uh, this is a variegated jade. And when it gets stressed, the edges turn a like a vibrant pink. It's really pretty. Also very easy to grow. I think the roots look fine. Maybe we just need to like throw out half of this soil or maybe even all of it. Really doesn't look like there's anything wrong with the soil here. Wow. Okay. These roots go deep. Ugh. The question is, can I be bothered with them? Do I even need them? We all know the answer to that. It's a resounding hell no. All right, how, mi how, how much of this do I want to cut off? Wow, so many roots. My clippers are inside. Oh gosh. Tim's got my clippers for me. I'm just gonna chop off these roots, because who needs them? They're gonna grow. Thank you. All right, cactus is on the floor. I just cut it out of the pot because you just don't need any of those roots really. And now I can empty the rest of this and work with ease and grace. Ugh. Wow. What did I put in this soil? It doesn't look like there's anything happening to it, but I think this is when I went through my um, decomposed granite phase. All right, gonna take a break from filming because I just need to take all the soil out of the pot. It's really boring stuff. I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch that. Okay, good. I'm making my usual soil mix. So I've got my regular cactus and succulent soil, which you just get from the nursery. And then I'm going to add some perlite and also some zeolite. I'm just gonna add the perlite first. See, that's the problem doing this while it's windy. It just goes everywhere. Let's just see if we can just get it straight into the, yeah. And then I'm gonna add some of this um, Red Rock Booster Crystal. So this is the zeolite that I pop into my soil. This was recommended to me by a succulent grower who grows and sells the most beautiful succulents. The place that we normally get this zeolite from, they don't know when they're gonna get any of this back in stock. So I have to find a new supplier, which is kind of wild. This stuff has all the nutrients that the plants apparently need. I don't know the exact science behind it. I'm kind of just trusting what this seller was telling me because the proof was in all of his plants. So, and it's been, it's, it's been working for me so far. Plants are healthy, plants are colorful. This is a pool noodle that has been cut up. What I'm doing is putting this in the pot, kind of like a little bit towards the bottom so that we don't need to fill the whole pot with soil. I used to do this with plastic bottles, but um, I think pool noodles are just a little bit better. and they're falling off anyway. I'm just gonna chop them off. Bam! All right, so I'm trying to position it a little bit more towards the back. Hopefully it'll stand up without it needing a, um, like an, a thingamajigger. Whatchamacallit? A steak. That's straight, right? I hope so. Ish? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wind. I mean, this is probably also maybe not living its best life. It's a little thin and then it kind of gets bigger towards the top. So I don't know what's going on there, but please just grow. This was here, I'm pretty sure somewhere around here. Yes, stay. Cool, what else? I got a dragon toes. Probably could do with a little snip. Maybe can take off these dead leaves at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. 
something like that. I'm just gonna put some soil down there so it can just be held in place. So we're kind of like just popping the soil in and not like pressing it in just yet. We're just kind of like doing a draft. I still quite like this in there. There. We're gonna give this a wash and take off all of the mealy. It's gonna get a spray. Wow. <laughs> so I washed the Aeonium. This is what's left of it and that's what's left of it on the bottom. Now, I know that some of you are thinking, wow, Shy, you've dug it up. You've chopped more than half of it off. It's summer in Australia. Good luck with that. I'm an optimist. So I'm gonna pop this back in here. I'm hoping that because there's a lot less of the plant around, it's gonna get a bit more airflow and the mealy's just not gonna come back. Let's hope for that, okay? Let's all be optimists. Mm. So we're gonna try this. And then, even though I've washed the majority of the mealy off, we're gonna just keep treating it because, you know, mealy are very insidious things and they're gonna be around somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know what else? You know what else is gonna look good in here? I have been thinking, do I put this in there? Echeveria molasso. Do I put this in here? No. Do I? I don't know. Oh, hello friends, there's a spider in there. You can eat all the mealy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? Life is short. I'm just gonna give it a go, okay? Okay, I'm gonna try and do this quickly because it's really windy. Let's try. Root bound mush. Wow, this is this has been in this pot for a while. If it turns out to be a mistake, look, it's not the end of the world. You just take it out of the pot and you put something else in its place. That's how gardening goes. I'm gonna chop these roots off. I invite myself to chop these roots off. Yes, we don't need them. Don't need them. Could this be too much? It's likely yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be too much, but you know what? We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. It can like trunk out that way. This looks great. I think this is gonna look superb. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh gosh, the wildness of the trunks. I love it. All right, the portalaca. Let's figure this out, shall we? Oh dear God, half of this is dead. Look at this. Look at how small this is. No. Definitely some chopping that we need to do. Oh, that's gone. Oh. Oh, that's gone. Boo. What is happening here? Look, after taking all of the dead stuff off, this is all that's left of it. What is going on? Don't die on me. You know what else I'm thinking? Wait. This is what I actually wanted to do with this Crassula Shandy. And maybe put it, should I put it here? Or should it go there? Should it go there? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. The blooms on the Crassula Shandy are about to pop. So I do want to plant this up pretty soon. Just gave these a wash because um, I was looking at the roots and I'm like, is that root mealy? I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but always good just to wash it just in case. This also just fell off, so that's fun. God, there is stuff everywhere. One thing I don't like about gardening in a small space, just like it's, it's like this. I'm thinking here. Yeah? No? Yes, yes, yes. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit because that's kind of a little bit more where I wanted it. I don't know if we can just kind of like anchor that down with this rock, just for now. And then, that's the good thing about putting pots on wheels. You can just, and also if you need to rotate it so that the cactus kind of like grows straight. So for example, if you've got a cactus that's sort of like a like a pole, not, not an opuntia because an opuntia will just do whatever it wants to do. If you've got like one of these and you want it to grow up straight, you can kind of like rotate it so it can, because what it does, the top part of the cactus actually grows towards the sun. So you'll find that like the, the cactus will get a little bit of a lean, but if you have it on wheels, you can rotate it and it'll grow straight. So instead of putting this back in there, this is gonna go somewhere else. I don't know where. Yeah, I don't know where. Let's 
put this, oh my god, maybe if I, no, it really has to be like around this way. It'll straighten up. These blooms are like, because um, of the way that they've just been sitting inside. Okay, yeah, 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 a little bit. And this one can like go here. Ooh. that to sit up a little bit taller. How about we just give this portalaca a little bit more support. Now oh, those flowers, I'm just gonna trust, I'm gonna play a trust game with these and I'm just gonna trust that these are gonna straighten up with the sun. We're gonna check in on these in a couple of days. These two queen violets, yeah, yeah, are gonna go here. And then I'm wondering, hold the phone, Okay, so a couple of options here, just to fill this out a little bit more, because Aeonium is just doing whatever. That's gonna be, oh my, great. This is just gonna have to go in deeper. Then I'm gonna chop this. I am not gonna wait for that to harden off. Bam, I'm not waiting for it to harden off because um, it's summer. It's summer, peeps. <laughs> These flowers are like so sad. Anyway, let's not judge this right now. So I've got a couple of options here. Shaviana Heim, and I could have sworn to God that I had another little one lying around somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. Or do we go with the Echeveria moranii? Why not both, you ask? What a great idea. Okay, this Shaviana Heim is looking a little depressing because I've left it out of soil for so long. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much because you know what? Succulents will be fine. They will bounce back in an instant. I'm just gonna remove the dead leaves and these stalks. Okay, maybe we're not gonna remove the stalks. We're gonna have to cut them out. Do you wanna come in and have a closer look because we're not really working with the tall stuff? Let's do that. I just realized that when I moved the camera to give you a bird's eye view of me planting up everything, I didn't press record, so we missed all of that. Ugh. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done so far. We have Portalaca sun jewels here. I'm gonna give this some space to grow, so I'm not gonna put anything, I'm not gonna put anything else around. The Shaviana Heim, both of them, are gonna sit here next to the agave, being all cute, but I'm gonna give it, look, it's, it, it looks so scrappy at the moment, but it'll bounce back, because that's what succulents do. This absolutely stunner of an Echeveria moranii is just, sitting pretty here and it's got a little baby so you know i've just planted that can you focus just planted that up and hoping it'll push through got my baby violet queens here should i just chop this off this looks absolutely miserable i will chop that off look there is still a little bit of mealy residue kind of hanging around so i am gonna treat it with alcohol or should i just go the systemic and then the crassula is is here so that's what i've done with this planter we're not gonna judge this today no because everything still looks a bit scrappy there's like bugs everywhere stuff looks like it's gonna fall over i'm gonna let it settle in maybe we'll check on it in the morning maybe we'll check on it in a few days and then that's when we'll wrap up this video okay friends it's a couple of days later just wanted to see how it would all settle in i think it's doing pretty okay let's check it out this is it so far I've added a little bit of top dressing. I don't like going too heavy with the top dressing. I kind of um, want to see what's happening with the soil, especially with this one, just because there's still mealy on this as well. So, well, maybe not mealy. I can't see an actual bug, but there's like that mealy residue that's still there. This is probably dead. I can remove that. Look, <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of like the stalkiness, but you know, we're gonna wish it a little bit of luck. It's supposed to rain in the next few days, so I don't know, maybe the Aeonium will appreciate that. I have the Molasso here with um, the two little babies. Portalaca, really had to cut that back, if you remember. But it is flowering, which is something that only happened in like the last day. Shaviana Heim is looking good. The center looks pretty healthy, so I'm hoping that new leaves are gonna grow pretty quickly and then push all of the dead leaves out of the picture. Eh, what else? Um, little bit of lava rock 
red lava, lava red, I think it's actually called, because I'm feeling a little bit fancy. And Bunnings now supply lava red, so there you go. Two old men of the mountain looking pretty sweet over there with a really cute rock behind it. This crassula is, I don't know, I, I, it hasn't straightened up, so I have no idea what's going on there. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it, let it do its own thing, and then hopefully one day it'll surprise me by being vertical. Agave dragon toes. I love you to bits. Hopefully you're settling in there. No idea what the name of this cactus is, but love the color. This rock I just love. And we have this Opuntia. My lovely, lovely prickles. That's what we're calling it in all of its glory. And then that's it. That's it for this video. Like, subscribe, all the things. Really appreciate. The numbers just keep growing. What's happening? Thanks for coming along on the journey with me. I will keep you updated as to how this pot goes. When we do our garden updates, I gotta come up with like some schmick name for it. Gardening is not my job, but I do love it and I do love sharing what I do on YouTube. So hopefully catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.